Hi everybody, Jason Robinson from Solar Buzz here again. And with all the interest now coming in because there's the GCT has been removed from lithium batteries, there's a couple things that homeowners are gonna to need to discuss and see what's right for you. Um, the questions we get asked a lot are, do I need batteries or don't I? Which is, do I want a grid tie system, meaning no batteries where I offset my energy only in the daytime when the sun is out and you don't have any backup power? Or do I want a lithium battery system to where I'm off, I'm basically on solar lithium batteries all the time and JPS is my backup power. Batteries, you can obviously um, reduce your JPS bill up to 100% if you have the budget, but with a grid tie system, you can only reduce your JPS bill as much as the energy you use in the day, so when the sun is out, which usually for homeowners is about 30%. So if you're okay offsetting your, your JPS bill at your house, only 30%, then you can go with a grid tie system as it's much cheaper. But if you want to have up to 100% reduction in your JPS usage, you're gonna need some battery storage. So there's a few questions that we've been uh, asked of late and um, we wanted to just go over these questions and try to help you guys make some more informed decisions. So one of the things you need to consider when going grid tie or batteries, obviously, how much independence do you want from JPS? Uh, and do you want backup power? If you want to be as far away from uh, your current light bill as possible, you're gonna need a solar system with batteries. And batteries obviously add more cost. Lithium battery systems can start anywhere from uh, roughly two and a half million dollars upwards. There is now financing available through different banks, um, which you can contact SolarBuzz to discuss which banking partner might be best for you. Um, and also the NHT gives um, solar energy loans as well. So what we've seen in the past for um, a grid tie system, non-battery versus a battery system for homeowners is they don't have as much load in the day than they do at night. So I would say 98% of Solar Buzz's clients uh, who are residential clients have batteries. Now we do mostly grid tie systems for commercial entities, but with the pandemic, a lot of people are now working from home and maybe even permanently. So you have to, we have to analyze and see if the load profile fits to where it would make sense for you to be able to offset your bill substantially because you may have a home office in the day where you're using one or two ACs all the time and your home usage is more similar to a business. If that's the case, I think then homeowners would be able to be satisfied with a grid tie system um, that doesn't have any battery storage, uh, even though you're not offsetting the night load. Uh, just keep in mind without batteries, you don't have backup power. So if you have a power cut with a grid tie system, meaning no batteries, you will lose power just as if you um, were only on JPS. And this is because all the inverters for uh, a solar system have something called anti-eye landing, which is a safety mechanism, which is globally required and recognized so that when a grid tie inverter does not see the grid, doesn't see JPS coming in at all, it shuts down automatically so that no power is sent back to the grid in case you're selling power to the grid. Even if you have a, a, a suppression unit on your system, the system will, will, will shut down still. Um, and that's safety because you don't want to accidentally or, uh, or, or have your system sending power back to the grid and you have a JPS person working on the lines, it would electrocute them. So the only way to have power when there's a power cut is to add battery storage to your solar system. Another question people always ask us in this debate is, can I just sell back to JPS and make up for the power I'm using at night? Uh, the answer mostly is no, you cannot. And that the reason is JPS only pays you 30% of the rate you pay them. That means that uh, you would really have to size the system two and a half times or more to even try and equate for the power that you're gonna be using at night. Uh, most homeowners do not have that roof space. And then what JPS also did to discourage uh, residential grid tie systems and people just installing systems to sell back to the grid is they've kept the size system that a residential client can have for grid tie only is a 10 kilowatt system. If you have a battery system at your house, you can get, you can go bigger and that is because you're isolated from the grid. So JPS doesn't require you to have a, a, a net billing license and the net billing license caps you at 10 kilowatts for residential um, solar. So if you're going grid tie at your house, the maximum you can have is 10 kilowatts. You will only get back a third of the power you sell back to JPS as a credit on your JPS bill monthly. So some things to consider when going either grid tie at your house versus batteries. What it comes down to is how much you want to offset your JPS bill. And it's going to be how much energy you're using in your home in the day versus night. The proper solar energy company can do the analysis to let you know 
you know, which option is better for you, how much you would offset with only a grid tie versus a battery system as well. Linking up with the, with the right company who can give you a proper detailed report, which includes an energy audit in there with everything laid out, also with your financing options, how to get insurance to cover your, your system is very important. Um, not all companies approach it in this way, but if you want a high quality system installed, you're going to want to think about those things. You're going to want property insurance on there, and you're going to want a detailed analysis of your energy load profile um, so that you can make the right informed decision for having a battery system versus non-battery system.